Hello everyone, welcome back to Gizmo China. Today we've got another Vivo product in our studio which was released earlier this week. The Vivo Pad. This is also the brain's first ever tablet. Now let's unbox this much anticipated tablet along with its keyboard and stylus and see what's special about it. Once we open the box, we can see the film wrapped around the tablet with a clear indication of the NFC function. The NFC connection is a feature that the brand emphasized a lot at the launch, which is designed for easier multi-device collaboration, but we will talk about later. Now let's pull up the film and check out the brand new Vivo Pad. The tablet we got is a blue color version, which looks clean and neat. And the tablet comes with a one-piece metal design for the body, which no doubt has the most premium build quality among all the Android tablets. There's a Vivo logo located at the center of the back and around dual camera module, including a 13 megapixel main camera and another 8 megapixel wide angle camera. Now, we're pretty familiar with the design of the camera module as we've seen it on the recent Vivo phones. At the bottom, you will see the logo of Dolby Vision and the metal contact for the exclusive keyboard connection. When holding it in my hand, the tablet feels pretty impressive due to its lightweight design. The weight of 489 grams and a 6.55 millimeters thickness look excellent when compared to other Android tablets on the market. Once you turn it over, the front face is very similar to other tablets we've had before. There's an 11-inch 120Hz LCD display featuring a 2.5K resolution. Above the display, there's an 8-megapixel selfie camera supporting 1080p video shooting. The display supports 120Hz touch sampling rate and 240Hz for the exclusive stylus. For imaging quality, the Vivo Pad supports P3 gamut colors and HDR content like Dolby Vision. But note that it's an LCD panel, so the contract is not as impressive as what we have on OLED or AMOLED display. On both sides, you will see the four speaker unit supporting stereo sound with Dolby Atmos. Now let's put the tablet aside and check out what accessories are in the box. Well, all we've got here is a 44 watt fast charging along with a type A to C charging cable. The tablet comes with an 8040 mAh large battery. The brand claims that the tablet can be fully charged in just 95 minutes with the included 44 watt charger. In our review video, we will verify whether it works in practice. And now let's look at the back of the tablet. The Vivo Pad is powered by the Snapdragon 870 chip. The chip has proven itself in a number of the latest high performance tablets. The reason why it got so popular among these tablets is that the manufacturers at this point may not find any better option which can have a, such a good balance between stable performance and power efficiency. Then we try to run some benchmarks on the tablet. It seems that VivoPad's performance is pretty close to what we tested on other Snapdragon 870 tablets. But the good news is that the tablet could have a better cooling effect for long-term use since the one-piece metal design offers better heat transfer. The tablet is only available in an 8GB RAM version, but you can choose between 128GB or 256GB of storage. For software, the Vivo Pad runs the Origin OS for Pad based on the Android 12. We've used this system on phones like the iQ9 series. Personally, I like the visual effect that the system offers. The customized UI is bright and lively in colors, and the animation is smooth and intuitive. Vivo also claims that the system brings many new features to the tablet. A good example is that this is well supported for multitasking. For example, you can set up shortcuts for dual app combinations, or directly open the combination in the form of a split screen mode. And we can also see features designed for easier and faster collaboration with phones and PCs, which look much like the features we've experienced in the Huawei MatePads. For example, using the NFC function, you can project the phone screen or transfer data simply with a light touch between them. And there are quite a lot of interesting software features on this tablet, such as image text recognition and real-time AI subtitles. As for its actual experience, we will do a deeper software review in our review video that follows. So stay tuned. Now let's look at the keyboard and the stylus. The keyboard case has pretty decent build quality. It's lightweight and the total weight when attached to the tablet is still acceptable. The key travel is not so impressive, but this is the case with many tablets' keyboards. The keyboard contains a touchpad, but the tablet doesn't support a PC mode. 
So basically the keyboard with the touchpad is not really practical in just daily use, but it could be useful for office work or productivity. As for the stylus, it supports up to 4096 level pressure sensing and a 240 Hz sampling rate. The stylus is powered by a 4A removable battery like Surface Pens, which as claimed could last for over 700 hour use time. Well, I still prefer the iPad stylus which supports wireless charging, but it still can be attached on the edge of the tablet. Although the stylus a backward center of gravity due to the loaded battery, it didn't cause any discomfort when holding it for drawing or writing. In daily use, it has pretty good drawing experience without obvious delay, especially in the official Notes app, the customized software brings the best taking note experience that we've ever used on a tablet. But note that the Notes app interface and the settings still cannot be perfectly shown in a non-Chinese language. If you guys are really interested in tablet accessories and want to know more about them, let us know in the comments below. We will share our experience and answer your questions in our review video as soon as possible. During the limited experience we have so far, the Vivo Pad impressed us with its excellent build quality and the effort made on its software optimization. So if you are interested in the tablet as we are, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for a follow-up full review video. Thank you for watching. This is the Real from Gizmo China. See you soon.